All right, guys, welcome back to Badminton Happiness. I uh, want to talk about how me and Boss Lady met each other back in 1993. Um, I was 13 at the time. She was 12. And uh, it was summer. First day out of school, you know, and I was at home. And uh, my cousin went to summer school because, you know, that's what kids did back then. You know, they wanted to uh, continue educating themselves over the summer, you know, or it's just something to do or to go for the free lunch, whatever. But, yeah, I, I wasn't a big fan of summer school. You know, I had big plans for myself in the summer. I just stayed home and just chilled and spent time with my uncles and other cousins and stuff. But anyways, my cousin came home after the first day of summer school, and he was all excited, you know. And I was like, man, what you all happy, smiling, ear to ear for, you know, grinning real big. And he's like, man, I saw this fine-ass Asian girl at Roosevelt Junior High, you know. That's the junior high we went to, Roosevelt Junior High in San Diego. I was like, for real, man, there ain't no, there's not too many good-looking Asian girls at school, man. I don't even start with that because, you know, we've already been there for we already know what most of the Asian people in San Diego, the school we go to, you know. And he's like, nah, man, she look good, bro. I've never seen her before, you know, but I'm afraid to talk to her. Can you go to, can you help me out, you know, get a number for me, you know. So uh, I was like, all right, man, you know, I'm going to look out for my cousin, you know, and that's what I do. So uh, I went to school the next day, and as we were walking in the front gate, my cousin's like, hey, hold up, hold up. There she go right there sitting on a bench. I was like, where? And he's, he's like, right there sitting on a bench. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, damn, she got long black hair. I was like, dude, she look good, bro. He's like, yeah, I told you. He's like, come on, get that number for me. I was like, all right, don't worry, I got you. So I started, I put my headphones on, on my wire Walkman, my cassette player. So I was like, all right. So I started walking towards her, and she was sitting there. I saw her, like, kind of looking at me in the corner of her eye. But, you know, me being the smooth guy I am, I was a break dancer, you know, so I started pop locking. I was like, bam, bam, doing my thing, you know. And I was like gliding and I spun around and I spun around and sat right next to her. And I was like, hey, what's up? You know a girl named Linda? And you know, every Asian girl know a girl named Linda, right? And she's all, yeah, I know Linda. And then she moved over two steps, right? Two seats over. And I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, that's cool. We, we both know Linda. Then I moved over next to her again. I was like, so what's your name? And then she's all, uh, Tran. And I was like, yeah, my name's Rath. And I was like, can I have your number? And she's like, no. I was like, oh, okay. So I got, I was stuck there just sitting like, man, she ain't giving me her number. Then right when the bell rang to go to class, I was like, hey, let me write my number in your binder real quick and give me a call so we could talk sometimes. So then she's like, okay, just give it to me. And then she wrote my number down in her binder. I was like, all right, cool. So then I just walked back to my cousin. She left. And my cousin's like, what, you got the number? I said, nah, man. She won't give me her number, man. He's like, dang, if you can't get it, I ain't got no chance. I was like, yeah, maybe, you know, she didn't give me a number, so let's just le let it be, you know? So that day, he's like, you can go back home? I said, nah, man, I'm going to join. I'm going to join summer school. I'm going to see if I can help you out, bro. So I enrolled in summer school. And I found out she was doing pre-algebra, so I took pre-algebra also, even though I already took that class last year. But I was just going to do it anyway because I wanted to be in the same class as her. And then uh, all summer long, man, we are sitting in summer school, you know, chopping it up. And she was laughing, and I'm laughing, and doing that little kid thing. And I was just trying to get her attention. And she kept on trying to pinch my neck and give me, like, hurting my neck and stuff. And we are just laughing, you know. We never had a serious relationship. We are just talking as friends, you know. But, yeah, man, that's how I met Tran. And, you know, from then on, it was, uh, we, after summer school was over, it was regular school, you know. And I was in uh, eighth grade, and she was in seventh grade. And it was, um, I remember, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day dance. And... Me and my cousin, we're doing break dancing, and we're doing the show, you know. And then after we got done doing our show, I saw her in the 
stands sitting there in the rows and I put my hand out and I say, hey, you want to dance? And she's like, yeah, sure. And then while we're dancing, I say, you want to be my girlfriend? She's like, uh, okay. So then from then on, man, both our family, you know, no one knew. We started dating. Valentine's Day, 1993, you know. And, uh, we just been exclusive ever since. And that's how me and Tran met, you know. And now you guys, most folks know her as Boss Lady, but I always call her baby back then. You know, it was a pretty cool story. And then to this day, you know, my cousin's still around, but, you know, yeah, obviously I didn't give him the phone number and I was being selfish and, you know, it, it worked out for me. And it's like we were meant for each other. You know, two, two opposite ends of the world. You know, I, she was a bookworm, very smart, did all AVID and IB classes. And my ass went to school every day and just pencil in my ear with my Chucks on my Cortez on and just walk around my homeboy. Uh, a lot of my homeboys, a lot of my cousins, man. But, you know, we... It's like oil and water, you know. And people say it don't mix, but we made it work, you know. Blessed to have her in my life. Um, so my next video is, I, in 1998, she made me this book before I left for college. And this is our picture. We took together in Magic Mountain. Yeah, I want to go over this book. All the memories she put together with us. and Yeah, I was an ugly kid and when she first saw me, bro. Look at this. 92. Look at this ugly kid right here. Straight out of the temple, yo. And that's Boss Lady. She saved all our IDs. She saved all our IDs from... Uh, Junior high and high school. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go over this book, man. There's a lot of memories in here. But anyways, that's how I met Boss Lady. Infinity forever. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed to Badminton Happiness, make sure you guys do. All right, peace out, yo.